Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course guys, today I'm going to show you to extend your Wi-Fi to dead zones in and around the house. So if you have a particular room or entire section in your house at which you cannot get a Wi-Fi signal reliably, I'm going to show you how to deal with the problem. Now first of all guys, let me just show you the current room that I'm in to demonstrate what I mean. Now of course guys, if you check out my um, smartphone right now, you'll notice that I am connected to Wi-Fi indicated by the Wi-Fi signal right here. However, if we take a closer look at that said Wi-Fi signal, so I'm just going to look at the Wi-Fi connection, you'll notice that I have full bars in this current room. Now in a few minutes, I'm going to move to another room in which we have a dead zone to actually show you how the um, Wi-Fi can actually get spotty. Okay guys, in this particular room, you might um, notice a difference in the audio, but as you can see right here, the Wi-Fi is actually um, worse. And I could actually take you further into the um, house. You just saw a while ago the Wi-Fi signal fell below usable standards. Now, at this stage, at this stage guys, the Wi-Fi is actually very weak and you'll get roughly no service or barely any service at all. So basically what I'm going to show you to do is show you a device and that device will fix this issue with these dead zones and extend your Wi-Fi coverage. Alright, so guys, um, we're back in the main room and the device you'll need guys is this particular device. It's known as a Wi-Fi extender or a Wi-Fi range extender. Now if you look very carefully on screen here, this is just one brand. And I recommend this particular one because this is the one that I use. I have a full unboxing and review of this one in a separate link. I'll link to it right now on screen and down below in the description. But of course, guys, you can check it out. It's from TP-Link and it's the 300 megabits per second Wi-Fi range extender. All right. And you see the model and all of that. But I won't go much more into this um, since the unboxing actually covers it. All right. So once you have this device and I'll put a link to, to the device where you can actually purchase it. We're going to show you what it did in the same room with the weak Wi-Fi signal. Alright guys, I'm in the room with the weak Wi-Fi signal and as you can see, this is the TP-Link range extender. Now as you can see here guys, it's up and running quite fine. But as you can see here, it has two lights. The first light shows power, the second light shows that it has a connection. If this goes red, that means the internet went out. And of course, blue indicates that it's working fine. So both are here. And of course, it has a WPS uh, button for easy setup and all of that. And of course, it keeps very cool, seeing it has these grates here that allows cool air into the device. And it has two antenna here that will allow the Wi-Fi to be spread around the house. And I must say, guys, I'm very impressed with this device. The only thing you'll need to do is place it midway between the dead zone and your Wi-Fi router. And of course, it will do the rest by bomb, um, actually amplifying the Wi-Fi signal. Currently, by just using this, I'm able to extend the Wi-Fi signal straight throughout the house. Let me just show you this right now on screen, guys, with a device. All right, guys, so as you can see here, we are now in the same room with the weak Wi-Fi signal, as I showed you before. And as you can see on screen right now, and I'm just going to focus. All right, so as you can see on screen, guys, you can see in the background the TP-Link range extender. And of course, I'm connected to the network right now. And if you look at the signal strength, as shown on screen right here, let me just focus. You can see again, in the same room with the weak or the non-existent to very weak Wi-Fi signal, I know have full bars. And what the range extender is doing right now is that it's boosting or amplifying the signal. And if I move around the room, guys, you'll see that it's still very, very, very strong and it will not uh, drop the signal. And of course, this will also extend the Wi-Fi even if you have um, walls. It does reduce it each time you have a wall in the way, but of course it um, is able to boost the signal so much that it wouldn't matter much. And of course you can keep ex um, adding these around the house, the TP link range extender. And what it's going to actually do is it's going to boost the signal in all the dead zones. So with about um, two or more of these on your main router, you'll be able to extend the Wi-Fi in the other side of the house, upstairs and almost anywhere you can think of. And works with a regular outlet and of course you see it doesn't block the second outlet and of course this is working quite fine i'm very impressed with the tp link router if you do not like this brand you can also check out other brands as well and the best thing about it guys is that it does not change the 
name of the Wi-Fi network. For example, if you're in one room and you enter another room, you'll be able to connect to the other um, Wi-Fi network quite easily. And of course, it's seamless and you only need one main password as your main router and that's it. So as you can see here guys, it's working quite flawlessly. And of course, this is how you extend your Wi-Fi um, signal to dead areas or dead zones around the house. All right guys, we got it from Blog Tech Tips, showing you another quick tip on how you can actually pick up something like this. And this thing costs just about um, 20 to 20 plus US dollars and it can fix your Wi-Fi issues. All right, so we got it from Blog Tech Tips and bye until next time. Bye.